Hello and uh, welcome back for my videos. In this video it's about uh, the project Family Organizer and this video will be very quick. <clears throat> Sorry. I will show how you can prepare a core SAP server like when we need to create a, a login page uh, or take data from the server when you change um, from one page to another page. So this video will be very basic and will be very quick. First you need to say npm install core router. To be sure it's router and not route because the route is the old one and router is the new one. <coughs> when we are finished here we can uh, starting up the application again. And now you need to go for the server and the index and scrolling to the top. You can duplicate the core line and say router. And then we can say core router. And then we have the router enabled. Uh, core the router is a plugin, so you need the router before we can listen on like slash API and what you want. I love to have the slash API as a prefix, so so we need to going down here and we make a new constant, call it API router is equal to new router. And we make a prefix here, so it's knowing everything should starting with API. So all the routes we say we want to listen on, it will starting with API. So when we go in for API router and say get, I can say slash foo, and then I can say async. That's what we want. We, we need to block it before it's served the data back to us. And then the CTX, it's the data we receive from the from the route. And then we can say uh, what we want here. Inside. And we, what we want to return is should be the body. And I will just say foo is equal to foo nox example. And then you need some small here to so say app use, API router, and routes. And we need the line down here and say allow methods. I'll say you need to create a comment here to so say core server handler, core API server handler. Then you know what you build here, it's uh, about the core. And then we are ready to test it. And we want to build one to say uh, users. And then we create it. In this folder, we will create a request to say uh, users login. And HTTP localhost. 3000 and API and foo. That's the first one we want to build. And we, we got it. So now we want to say users and then log in. We want one more to say user sign up. That's how it's you probably normal will work, but I will do another way. So let's say user and we remove this and the user is here and say uh, sign up should be put and then we have uh, an update user should be post. And then we can going back. Oops. User get method. Whoops. And then put here and say post and 
output. I'm going back to this sample and say users and call the user login here and we send it. It's a get method. So let's duplicate this and we call this for login to so create and the only change we do is the put we send it and we have a put method so duplicate down here and say the user update and put it here and send it and now it's a post so now we basically can f uh, figure out what's happening with the with our core application here. So we are ready to to handle the requests, and I will use this in the next uh, video where we will create a user login uh, method, so we can be logged in from the login page to our family organizer uh, dashboard. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you want to watch the next video about the family organizer if you have any questions about uh, core or about this project or if you have any kind of feedback please make a comment below and re remember to hit the like button and I hope you want to subscribe to this channel so you can get more videos from me and you subscribe to hit the thing in the right corner below and I will be so thankful for this and I hope you want to watch me next time and Thank you for your time and see you.